event. Position SUNY as the higher ed leader in AI, enhance our academic reputation via AI accomplishments, and use that preeminent position to recruit and retain world-class faculty. The energy in this room is palpable and extraordinary with over 200 participants and 80 astonishing student posters testifying to the passion within SUNY for AI's future. The collaboration we've already seen is a testament to SUNY's power. The unity of our entity across our 64 campuses is the key to our superiority for pursuit of research and scholarship. From core data science to language analysis to combating deep fakes to driving innovations in mental health care and educational programming for students with disabilities to a hundred other areas. The width and depth of SUNY's means uh, of impact in investigation and inquiry uh, is happening everywhere across our campuses. UAlbany's AI Plus initiative is a great example. A tremendous stride backed by New York's $75 million investment last year that will solidify our position on the world stage and ensure any student can get a proper grounding in these paradigm shifting technologies. And in the same vein, UAlbany's College of Nanotechnology, Science and Engineering is making huge advancements and serves as a crucial partner in the Nord Tech Consortium, a New York-based initiative that received a landmark $40 million allocation from Senator Schumer's Chips and Science Act. That deserves a round of applause, $40 million for UAlbany. Artificial intelligence development and application into education and the workforce has exploded over the past year. With much of the popular attention focused on how we can assure ourselves that student work and even faculty work are original in the context of chat GPT. But we all understand the potential and the risks are so much bigger than that. AI is intruding upon, improving upon, and impacting nearly every area of our lives. It is aiding us in operating and maintaining the homes. It is helping design and furnish. It is embedded in communications, banking, inventory, transportation, customer service, marketing, manufacturing, scientific research, psychological assessment, education, and social media. Society truly is not yet ready for its impacts, and SUNY can and must be at the forefront of understanding, understanding preparing for, and optimizing those impacts to provide cutting edge research, to safeguard the educational process, and to prepare the workforce that will deploy this powerful technology. With that in mind, we know we must create a strategy that considers the impact of AI on research, education, and training at SUNY to both adapt to and take advantage of the opportunities and challenges presented by AI and large language models. We also have to identify what SUNY will need to execute that strategy including defining needed resources and knowledge, identifying infrastructure needed for changes in education technology, identifying needs that must be filled to support research in AI, and identifying SUNY gaps and shortcomings in these areas that will need to be filled. Thankfully, we have an extraordinary leader in these efforts. Governor Kathy Hochul has, since she took office, shown tremendous foresight and determination in her efforts to position SUNY for excellence and position our state for success with historic investments in SUNY students, our research, and our future. She understands better than anyone the ways in which SUNY is central to New York's and the nation's future and the importance of making us a leading and dominant force in cutting edge technology. It is our collaboration, our research, our industry attraction, our job creation, and our mastery of all the moral, legal, and philosophical issues surrounding technological advances that will define the quality of our state's future. And when it comes to these issues, Governor Hochul is both tireless in her efforts and masterful in her execution. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to introduce her today. So without further ado, Governor Kathy Hochul. Good afternoon, everyone, and it's great to be back here at my home away from home. It feels like Dr. Rodriguez, thank you for always hosting us at New Albany. This is an extraordinary institution. 
Uh, I also I'll let you know I heard the Chancellor reference uh, superiority. I'm also reflecting on the fact that I believe in New York State exceptionalism. I believe we have the best talent on this planet. I believe we have the best innovators on this planet. And now with Chancellor King leading our SUNY system and in what he has done in less than a year, I believe again in the exceptionalism of the SUNY system of which all of you are part of. Let's give him a huge round of applause for what he is doing for us. We are truly in this state in the middle of a tech revolution. And sometimes you look back through history, you're not aware that you're going through some seismic change. I'm sure 200 years ago when they were digging the Erie Canal and coming near completion, that they could not have foreseen the transformation that this brilliant idea that was laughed off by many would actually transform New York State into the commercial and economic powerhouse that it became. So ideas, while they're unfolding, you're not always aware of the full scale and impact, and indeed one that affected our state still positively 200 years later. I believe that that's the opportunity that we have at hand right now. I literally just came down from Saratoga Springs where I spoke at the New York State Innovation Summit, where we had hundreds of individuals who are the most brilliant thinkers and business people and idea people came together with just maybe a concept in their college dorm, but found the right people to help make it become a reality. I told them I want this tech, this innovation climate to prosper here in the state of New York because not only do I love their innovation, the energy, and the fact that they are so diverse, that they come to our state, and many people have come from other countries, and we welcome them because I spoke about how I believe the reason we are an exceptional state and we are exceptionally brilliant and we are the innovators of all great ideas is that so many came from elsewhere, meaning their families, themselves, or even their grandparents or great-grandparents all had that gene, that risk-taking gene to leave the security of their home, their friends, their families, and go into a world unknown to them just like my own grandparents did leaving great poverty in Ireland over 100 years ago. But they found a better life. They worked hard, they were migrant farm workers. But they're able to find the opportunities that this country affords. It is that basis of our state, one of the most diverse states that relies on people from all over the world to bring that energy and they're willing to take risks is why we are the innovators. And so, we know that for a fact. I can say it a thousand times, but you all know it's your core. You're in New York State because New York is where things are happening. And why not in the AI space as well? I'm not ceding anything to any state or any country on this planet either because we are the smartest and we have the best educational institutions and we have the people in this room who are part of making the future. You see far decades ahead about the power of AI and what it can do. It transforms our ability to find innovative health cures and solutions. It changes our relationship between businesses and customers. It helps us figure out all kinds of solutions, and that is what is so exciting about AI unfolding before ourselves right now. I am so excited about the investments that the state of New York is willing to make in this space as well. But also, let all your friends know this is the place to be as well. Now, there's a place called the West Coast. Okay, uh, I won't say anything else, but I will quote a tech executive who said, and I paraphrase, the West Coast is where all your friends are, but all your business customers are in New York State. This is where you grow your business. This is where things are happening, the epicenter of not just tech and finance and marketing and fashion and Wall Street. We are also the semiconductor capital, and I'm saying it here, and you can just quote me on that, of the world. If not now, then soon to be. Because we are the ones that are attracting the most brilliant businesses, the ones that are solving so many of today's problems. And one of our problems is, is that projects like semiconductors, manufacturers, it's happening overseas. That creates supply chain issues for us. That's why I say let's make them right here in the state of New York. That's why Micron is so important to us and so many other industries that are now finding this is the place to prosper and to grow. 
But I also want to talk about something that we're doing here at SUNY. And we are talking about a couple of announcements I want to make today. First time ever, brand new collaboration between SUNY Albany and one of the titans of the tech world. And yes, I'm talking about three letters, IBM and SUNY are a powerhouse together. Let's unite them in pursuit of making sure that we are at the pinnacle of innovation when it comes to AI. Together, they'll form the Center for Emerging AI Systems. Got a great sound. Center for Emerging AI Systems. $20 million collaboration that'll power groundbreaking research. And there are so many discoveries just waiting to be found. And that's what this will do. It'll bring together the students and the faculty and the business all together toward one purpose. And also, SUNY is continuing their efforts by forming a, an AI research group that will be tasked with developing SUNY's AI strategy for years to come. They're going to be talking about how they can have thoughtful ways to integrate this technology. But there are some cautions. There are cautions. Now, I'm excited, as you can tell. I see great possibilities. I see something that this all leads to, which is the most important to me as the governor of New York, and that is more jobs being created. So people like my own family who started a tech business don't have to do it in another state like they did a generation ago because this is the place to make things happen. But we also have to heed the warnings associated with AI. We can innovate the future, we can think about the future, but also let's talk about any potential downsides or harm, especially to our children, to our children who are on social media, who are on platforms so often so many hours a day. Let's make sure as we're thinking about AI, we're also thinking about perhaps even your own children and your children's children someday because we have to protect them and be smart about this. We have to make sure that we have ethical policies that are healthy for people and make sure that all the pitfalls that were not foreseen with social media in the past are anticipated now and into the future. That's how we solve problems and think about the possibilities in ways that will protect our citizens as well. And that's why our SUNY's role is so pivotal. And having people gather here today to think about this, think about all the possibilities, the good and the bad. And if there's bad, let's anticipate and let's solve for it now before it becomes embedded in the systems. That's what I'm challenging all of you to do here today. So with our education, our focus on all this, there's no stopping us. There's no stopping us. And I'll be happily be the governor of a place that convenes the best and brightest, as we're doing here today, a place we solve problems, and a place where we embrace the challenges of the future, not with fear or trepidation into the unknown, but we go into the galaxies of the unknown because this is New York State, and that's what we've always done, and that's why our state is so incredibly exceptional. So thank you, everyone, for gathering here today, and thank you for what you're going to be doing in these rooms and when you go back to your offices and back to your classrooms and back to your businesses, you are creating the future as we speak. Thank you very much, everyone.